Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on residential ventilation. Most existing homes are naturally ventilated with windows that can be opened to get some fresh air. <laughs> but what if it's really cold outside or really hot and humid? That may prevent you from opening up windows for months at a time. Many new homes are designed to bring in outdoor air mechanically throughout the year. This is especially important in homes that are sealed and well insulated. However, a common question is how much outdoor air ventilation is really needed? At a minimum, one must bring in enough outdoor air to meet the local building code. However, not all building codes require mechanical ventilation for homes. I personally have seen many homes that were built airtight but left out mechanical ventilation as it wasn't required by code. The best standard to reference is the consensus-based ASHRAE Standard 62.2 titled Ventilation and Acceptable Indoor Air Quality in Low-Rise Residential Buildings. This ANSI-approved standard was updated in 2013 and is under continuous maintenance. The standard provides a formula for calculating the minimum outdoor air ventilation, which is based on the square floor area and the number of bedrooms. But many question, where do ASHRAE's ventilation rates come from? Are they based on long-term, large-scale studies of the health effects resulting from varying ventilation rates? In short, we don't have solid health-based evidence to establish the best ventilation rates. Therefore, you'll find people who oppose ASHRAE's ventilation rates, some claiming they're either too high and others claiming they're too low. The more we research and learn about the impact of ventilation rates on health, the easier it will be in the future to build consensus when establishing ventilation rates. To learn more about ASHRAE Standard 62.2, sign up today for the IAQA University class titled Ventilation Standards. Visit the IAQA for more information.